live from the heart of New York City. It's the morning show with Mike and Juliet. I just couldn't believe that everyone knew before me. Find out what she found out on Facebook that broke her heart and why it could easily happen to you. Welcome back, everybody. You know, social networking websites like uh, Facebook and MySpace can be great for finding love. They're also changing the rules when it comes to losing love. Oh. Breaking up is hard to do. Not anymore. Gone is the agony of getting dumped face to face. Now folks simply uncouple by typing the kiss off on Facebook. We met on Facebook. He said he had just moved here from Israel and he had never had a girlfriend in his life. Our relationship really started to progress, especially after he told me that I was the first person he wanted to be with for the rest of his life. 25-year-old Amber was skippy happy in love until someone posted a very flirty message to her boyfriend on his Facebook wall. He said it was from his father's friend, who was 15 years older than him. Then it happened again. I read it, and I was like, oh, no, she did not do that. Well, a third message made Amber look bad on Facebook and made her mad enough to confront her boyfriend. He flipped down on me. And then he dumped her online. He changed his Facebook status to single, and that automatically changed my Facebook status to Amber is now single. I knew that everyone had seen the status before I had, and I just couldn't believe that everyone knew before me. That same day, Amber discovered his relationship with the other woman was not so innocent. I signed into Facebook and I saw that he was tagged in photos with that woman and there was nothing innocent about those photos. I just felt empty, to be quite honest. I mean, I felt betrayed. Like, everything that you believed is not real. So mad. Ooh. Amber is here. Hi, Amber. Amber, also here is the author of It's All About You, relationship expert Donna Barnes back with us and tech expert for Fox 5 here in New York City, Brett Larson. Hey, Brett, what's up? Ooh, I got a holler. <laughs> so wait a second. So he can change his status, but at the same time, it changes yours because you were connected to him. Yes. And it That's even lame. reads a little bit differently. His is like, oh, he changed his status, too. And mine is, Amber is now single. Yeah, so when you, you confronted yeah. him, what did he say? He didn't really say much of anything. He's been avoiding the whole situation. Yet still you're friends with him. You on still Facebook. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's well, go. <laughs> Why don't you dump him for on Facebook? Well, he's my Facebook friend, and, and with the new technology, I feel like there's a new after effect of dating. Like, if I mm. like end the Facebook friendship, then is that like starting a, a war and I can't be around him if I bump into him? Like, I don't really understand. Well, no, what do you it's think, Donna? taking care of yourself. I think right. you're going to stay stimulated and stay in that relationship as long as you're still connected with him. And you don't want to keep that wound open for you. You want to close it. You want to move on. And you certainly don't want to be exposed to if he's with somebody still. else. And then you see those kind of pictures. <laughs> you know, it's like... You're still into him. You really want to mm -hmm. make the break. And, you know, obviously he has a hard time expressing his emotions and stuff. He, he opted, instead of having a nice conversation, oh, who, who was yeah. to do it on the who net. Who was this chick? So, was he messing around with her the whole time? You know what? I don't really even understand the situation. Apparently this girl who's... 15 years older than him, knew his father who has passed, and just pops in and writes flirty comments on I wouldn't believe anything so he said. You right. know, that's, so, that's the thing, Brett. Would, that's the yeah. problem I have with Facebook, is that these people start writing flirty comments to your boyfriend or your Right, and then you yeah. see it, and you're connected to them. And this is, I mean, you know, when you're still connected to somebody that you dated, just the way Facebook works in general, you're tagged in pictures of them, so they're always going to be a part of your life. Mm -hmm. So for as long as you're connected to them, you're always going to see that stuff. And that's also, like you were saying with the relationship status, this is the downside to all these sites is one person changes something everybody yeah. finds out about it even if you if you set up your profile this happened to me when I set up my profile I never set a relationship status so when I did go in and say hey I'm single all my friends started emailing me to say oh I'm so sorry to hear that it's like, <laughs> what? It's, been, it's been going on for a while and but, it happened uh, the same way with me when I just did my thing all of a sudden and said yeah I'm in a relationship and everybody said oh what have people that knew my guy were like right. what happened and I was right. like no 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 that's what I'm talking well, about well if I'm in a relationship never, and I check her Facebook page she better have it said that She's not single anymore. <laughs> that would freak well, me out. Well, see, and 
that's the thing. You know, it's like mine says that I'm in a relationship because I don't want people to, to hit on me essentially and try to get there. But Darn it. If, you're in a, <laughs> if you're in a relationship, I think that's a conversation that you need to have with each other but before you just is, arbitrarily do that. Facebook and MySpace, is this a good place to date or not, Brett? Well, I mean, Facebook and MySpace has become sort of the town square of the of of today. It's so the new bizarre. technology. It's where everybody comes together and meets. It's a great way to do a little background information on somebody. Maybe you have a date coming up. You want to Google them and get a little, little information. You're going to find out where they went to school. You're going to find out where they worked. You're going to see pictures of them in, in every situation of life, which you may or may not want to see. So bottom line, would you suggest that people who are not on Facebook right now or MySpace, who, who are people who get a little uh, crazy about these things, if they see a, you know, somebody friending their boyfriend, would you suggest they don't join Facebook? Or I, I, would, I would say I would. steer clear if you've here's, got any issues with that. Here's yeah. the great thing. Facebook <laughs> is wonderful for <laughs> connecting with friends and connecting with people. A friends thing. I think relationships are better off. Less is more when it comes to information. <laughs> they are breeding grounds of jealousy, though, yeah. if you have that jealous thing in you. Right. And you can see pictures of everything that's going on in his life. You know, you don't need to know all that. Yeah. I always tell people you don't talk about past relationships. And so then what do you do if oh, you're all his ex to do that on the first date? Or, no. or ever. Amber, do you yeah. want this guy back? Is that why you don't delete him? No. Look at me. <laughs> delete. You better. Yeah. Delete. Oh, I better. Delete. Unfriend. Delete. One click. Delete. 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 <laughs> delete. She doesn't deserve you. It's up to you, yeah. Amber. You're too pretty for that. All right. For more on Facebook and dating, and should you, shouldn't you, <laughs> log on to mnjshow.com. My favorite is MySpace. Though.